If you haven't heard by now, there's a stuff going all around TikTok called the pink sauce. It was made by a private chef named Chef P. And Chef P is facing backlash because she really doesn't know what she's doing. But obviously, I can't just say that without reason. And in this video, I'm going to show you the evidence. You can pause to read if needed, but what we really need to know is who she is. She's an American chef, a mixiologist, and entrepreneur. She's 29 years old and was born in Florida. So that gives you a little bit of insight who Chef P is. On to the next topic. TikToker by the name of JP the Worst gives some evidence that the sauce isn't what it's really set out to be that she's lying to us about what she's really putting in the sauce. All right, I had to cut the music before the video plays, but I'm just putting this here because he explains it way better than I could. Had to cut some parts out of the TikTok because it was kind of long, but he explains it very well within what I give you. But then I'm gonna point something out that I haven't seen anyone else notice. So the things that I have now seen other people talk about. Now the label is crazy. Like, it equals out to, like, 40,000 calories for a bottle, which is definitely not correct. The fact that vinegar is spelled wrong immediately jumped out to me. Huge red flag. The fact that there is milk in it. Granted, it's allegedly a very small amount, but still something that you would typically want to keep cold. So already kind of off-putting. The interesting thing about dressings that some people don't know, if it's not a vinaigrette, mayo is probably the main ingredient. If it does not have mayo, it's almost guaranteed to use mustard. The reason that most dressings, non-vinaigrette dressings, use either mayo or mustard is because it acts as a binding agent. A lot of times you get like a balsamic vinaigrette. If you let it just sit there, it's going to separate. Because it's oil and vinegar, it's not going to mix well. Even if you use like an immersion blender, it'll separate. Which is what makes the texture of this sauce so weird. Even with the fact that it's like mostly water, if you were to use honey as your binding agent and just honey it wouldn't be quite as dark as the fruit itself but the honey would darken it it wouldn't be this light also if you were using enough honey to actually bind the ingredients it would be thicker than this so i was thinking there has to be mayo or at the very least mustard in it and then i came across this video which you see something that looks an awful lot like mayo and if you look at the ingredients list there is nothing that looks like this listed here even if this is not mayo, at the very least, she is using something that's not here to give it that particular color and consistency. She's definitely not telling us the full ingredients list. Well, after that, we can all just give him a big round of applause because he explained that perfectly. Something I also notice is that every time I see it, it seems to be a different consistency or a different color. Like, look at these two images. They don't look the same. You can blame it on the lighting, but I don't think it's that. Now take a look at the other two images. You see? You see what's going on here? They're all a different consistency and all are different colors. Like, she's trying to make this, but don't know how to make the exact same recipe every single time. It shouldn't be turning out a different color every time you make it the cherry on top on how she really doesn't know what she's doing let's just let's just look at this clip fda approved what do you mean fda approved i don't sell medical products the pink sauce is not a medical product all right all right this video is more of a documentary video but i'm about to i'm about to kick it up in my style what is she talking about mean to tell me that you selling this pink concoction to people hmm? this is what you're selling to people what honestly honestly what is this you got a couple lawsuits heading your way miss p i hope you know that they are not gonna stop until you are dry of your money you should have never thought of this you should have just stayed being a chef but no but no you wanted to wanted to make something that you wanted to be known for see this is why you should have just stayed unknown see now a lot of people are about to hit you with some lawsuits and i'm talking big time money you're selling this for 20 dollars a pop and you think 
people are honestly not going to sue you, they're going to buy it just so they can try it and then sue you. Even if it's fine, it tastes good. They just going to say that it had bacteria in it. You know why? Because you saw other people doing it. So guess what? You're going to jail. <laughs> You're not going to be able to pay off that debt. You're going to jail. <laughs> There's a few simple ways you can resolve these issues by maybe hiring a team or maybe, you know, including cooling packs when she's delivering them to people. And maybe even just, you know, get a team to work on it. But I'm out. See y'all in the next video. Stay safe.